Okay. <clears throat> well, those guys are finishing that up. Um, awesome. Okay, great, you guys. So, so heading into the the uh, getting near the end here. I wanted to. Um, we didn't we didn't quite have time for review post uh, WSN about. Um, uh, remember, recall that one of our key things here in our class is about being able to communicate uh, visually, right? Being able to um, uh, take information, data, and turn it into something that is a story, is an elegant interpretation, and helps uh, improve understanding. And so um, I grabbed different examples from, uh, from posters, and so I wanted to have a debrief with you guys based on now that you've all created poster, at least one poster, right? Might, might have done more in other classes and stuff. And you've done at least, um, most of you done at least a presentation, if not more. And so, uh, and you've seen, everybody's taken a look at other presentations and, and critiqued people's presentations. So the key thing, right, when we do these <coughs> uh, data presentations is we wanna know how does something relate to something else? Possibly, how does something relate to multiple other things, and and you know what's the argument you're trying to make with that? Therefore, we should have better planning. Therefore, we should have stronger laws. Therefore, we should have you know whatever. So here are some um, uh, things that uh, we've sort of been talking about, but we haven't uh, uh, been as explicit with some of them. So I wanted to make sure we talked about these briefly and then looked at some examples and have you guys critique some, some posters uh, on the fly here. So the first is for a really good um, solid poster that we'll look at in a second. Um, so overall, overall, were you guys happy with our poster or not happy? And it's okay, I'm just, I'm just curious. It seems like most people were pretty happy, yeah? yeah. <laughs> some people are happy, other people are asleep. I don't know what's going on. Okay. so. Um, so what we should have in our poster, what we should have in, in other people's posters, what we should have for an effective presentation is whatever it is, should be a really clear, um, uh, it should be really clear what's going on. Now, the takeaway could be, we don't know what's going on. <laughs> that could be a takeaway, but it should be, whatever the message is, it should be, people shouldn't have to work super hard to figure out the core thesis, right? We want to make it intelligible, obvious, etc. In our context, in the ESRM, we really want to get insight into the natural world and, and, and help improve sustainability, help improve environmental justice concerns, whatever the case may be. Okay, so that, that's the starter. Then we get into actually talking about the poster or the, or the, the, the item itself. Um, now, when we first, uh, you, you can't go to the World Cup, like, first thing, right? You got to learn how to play soccer first. And before you learn how to play soccer, you got to learn how to run first. Before you learn how to run first, you got to walk first. And before you learn how to walk first, you have to crawl, right? So there's all these steps. So we'll see some examples of different types of design. You've all seen different types of, different examples over the semester and before about, um, uh, you know, hey, uh, is is um, this is a really innovative way to, to visualize data, right? But usually when we start, we're doing that walking, that's why I give you guys that, that, that why I gave you guys the template. I'm like, hey, let's just start with this, right? Yes, you can get all fancy and crazy, but let's just start with this and make sure you can walk. And then once you can walk, then we can run. And then we can run, then you guys can, can head off to the races and you can pick whatever format. But most of the time, we follow this default um, content, but always, whether you're following that, that playbook or doing something totally from scratch, it should be driven by the content, right? So the data should drive it. It shouldn't be a marketing exercise, right? So even though we want this to be understandable and, and, uh, and, and, and consumable, we're not doing a snow job here. This is not a, a PR firm type of operation. As far as the actual data, these are some examples, or these are some, some principles from Edward Tufte. I used to take you, years ago, I used to take ESRM to his mobile um, presentations. Uh, his, he would give talks around the country. He's gotten very old. I, I don't think he does them anymore. But, um, but uh, if you guys are curious, Edward Tufte is, a, is sort of like the, the old school guy of, of elegant data visualization. 
So these are from him. So generally speaking, we like to enforce comparisons, you know, compare contrast type stuff, right? So, so make it easy to see that, that treatment X is different from treatment Y, for example. <coughs> Ideally, show causality and mechanisms and those kinds of things. Now, in the case of, of like a class project like ours, where we only have a, a few weeks and, and a limited amount of time, and that maybe we can't quite get there, but that should always be the goal right, is to show that type of underlying relationship between the data. Generally speaking, and this, is, this has come out, and I, th I think we'll see this when we go in a few minutes, Ge and again, just starting off, first walking, it can seem hard, right? But ideally, you want to present multivariate data. You want to have multiple things there, A and B, A, B, and C, that type of stuff, um, rather than just a simple you know, one simple bar, bar chart kind of thing. Um, and then, and ultimately this thing should all be tying together. So we talked about in our presentation, hey, what if we make uh, Deepwater Horizon Gulf of Mexico green? Then when we reference it in the text, we'll make it green and we'll make the bars green and you know, all that kind of stuff is, is, is making it easier for the public to understand what's going on when they come to your thing. And then finally, and ultimately, we really want to respect the viewer, right? We don't want to make them, I mean, they might need to do some work. They might need to go, what if, or this or that, but we don't want to make it so hard that they have to do all the work, right? So the simple stuff, the size of the font, the, the, the symbols not being confusing, right? All that kind of stuff, we want to respect them and make it easy for them to, to look at our data and, and see for themselves, does this really support our thesis? Does this support our hypothesis? And so, um, so first exercise, everybody pull out your phones. And we're going to do, um, and so this is a poster that I'm a co-author on, and so is Dr. Patch and, and, and everything, um, but, uh, and my son. And so, uh, so I want you guys to look at this. So, so now I might have to turn the lights out if this uh, if it's, doesn't work. And so, so here's the deal. So firstly, did, did people see this poster? Some of you guys saw this poster? Yeah. Some people saw it. Okay, so this is a poster from WSN. And this is about some of Dr. Patch's uh, uh, and, and our related work looking at uh, coastal erosion, right? And so the question here, the reason I'm showing this is because um, I'm curious as to what you guys think. So, so this poster was like, hey, here's some data, let's talk about this, right? But also, this poster was curious as to the most effective way to communicate coastal erosion. And w w what's the most compelling thing here? And so, uh, basically, this says this is the one, one spot in Nicholas Canyon, and, and it's been eroding for a while. And we fly drones over it, take pictures, great maps. Okay, but this is the key part of the poster for our talk here. So, so there are, there's this stuff, which is just a, a, a two-dimensional picture, a map, right? And then there's the 3D model that's loaded up onto a website that you can play with in a second on your phone and spin around and look at, look at, the, look at the site. And then third, there's a bar chart right here. And so that's what I want you guys to look at. So, so, um, stare at the, so there's, there's the, the map that's just there. For number two, you've got to scan this. So scan this, wait a second, and then let it load on your phone. If, you're, if your phone is slow, like Brandon saying his phone is slow, it might take an extra minute. And that's going to call up a three-dimensional map of the coast, of this part of the coast. OK. Cool. So, uh, so what, did, what did you guys think? So overall, what, which one do you think was the most effective? Just show a hand, maybe because people are still typing it in. The w w one, raise your hands. Two, raise your hands. Three, raise your hands. Okay. So, so, so you guys think that the, the traditional graph is like th those might be helpful or interesting or whatever, but that you like the you like the graph best. But why do you guys like the graph? People that said they like the graph best. Why do you guys like the graph best? I think it was cut and dry. Yeah. It shows a change over time. And it's clear, right? Yeah, it shows a change. The other one's just, I mean, the 3D one's cool, but. Right. So this is like, okay, this is small. This is kind of some bigger and some bigger and whatever. This is standardized per the amount of additional per unit per year, right? So this is, this is, this is maybe more helpful to understand. Is it, is it getting worse every day or less worse every day? Okay, okay. 
So even though these visual things are really enticing, it might draw you in. It sounds like you guys really like to go back to the, the, the table, the graphical, the, 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 the more quantitative stuff. Okay, cool. All right, so let's take a look at some posters. Uh, these are from WSN and from also a couple other recent conferences. Um, so some of these are ones that you guys submitted and some are just other ones I took pictures of. So this is a, tr okay, so for, first, what do you guys think about this poster? Right. Okay. So, so maybe we'll do, do a show of hands. Who thinks uh, effective poster? Raise your hand. Eff effective uh, data visualization, effective communication tool. Raise your hand if you guys think yes. And if you think no. Okay. So most people think no. Okay. And why do you guys say no? That's a massive thing, right? It is a massive thing. The reason I said it was bad was because, like, I really like the information right in the middle, but I think there's a lot of like blank space that could be used to make the, the graphic. Right. So Claire was saying there's, there's like a bunch of empty blue here, there's a bunch of empty blue here. I also said that the font on the graph was too small and he's using the, the generic colors instead of like customizing them and I think that makes it really seem like he didn't put a lot of work into it. So, so one thing, and so, so this is a trend. I don't, I can't entirely, entirely track what's going on here because I'm seeing it from. I, at first, I would have thought, oh, this was one professor, or one class, you know, or one school of thought or something. But, but I'm starting to see these posters pop up in different from different places, different people. So, so there's clearly someone pushing this, but I'm not entirely sure who, who the one is that is pushing it. There have been some tutorials online where people have encouraged people to have their message in the middle, but, but still, it's a little, I don't quite understand. Do you, you see these, Zach? See this poster? So, um, so again, having a central, central take-home, making sure everybody gets it, not a problem. That's a good thing. But, but the other thing we have to remember when we're doing visual communication is that the, the, um, the, the, the size of the thing, the amount of the thing, is, is at least somewhat related to importance, okay? So this person is saying, oh my gosh, this is really important. This is really important. This picture is really, really important. This data over here, this data over here, it's, it's this data, this, this, this uh, representation of whatever the relationship we're showing is not as important as this picture, right? Now, it's not always exactly like that, but when you have something that's one third of your whole poster is devoted to two sentences, that's, that's, a little, that's a little strange, I would say. And I would say this is not an effective um, use of, of communicating quantitative information to folks. Okay, how about this one? Yeah, you can join us, Zach. You can, you can hang out if you want to watch this. I like how it's uh, compartmentalized into like the four kind of like boxes that helps fit along, but it's still not the okay, best. Okay, okay, good. So, so I want your comments. But first, let's take a vote. Effective communication? Raise your hand if you think effective, effective uh, poster. It's, if you can't, you want to fit Max, you can raise your hand. It's okay, you don't have to hide. Okay, <laughs> one. Okay, one. And P everybody else thinks not, not, not particularly effective. Okay, okay. So now, no, sorry, go ahead, Caleb. Say yeah, what you're going to say. Yeah, so I think, I think again, this is, this is probably someone that's, or I know this is, someone that's relatively early in her studies, right? So she doesn't have a huge amount of data. But again, that idea of trying to have multivariate data, multiple things in there, and, and, that, that, and the reason for multiple things in there is one, like this is saying, this guy is bigger than that guy. Cool, that might be super important, right? But um, that doesn't allow us to make any other what ifs, right? Th this one down here has, you know, 
A and B, A and B, A and B over different treatments. That one, that one does have multiple things. You can start to say, hey, well, what happens with treatment, whatever? Or what happens when we have the purple condition or the clear condition, right? And you can start to test those hypotheses. Having, having a simple bar chart of just one bar, one bar, that's usually not particularly helpful um, and, and not as elegant. Does somebody else want to say something? OK, but I would say, but very well organized. I think, I think uh, a clear, if you wanted to find out what's going on this poster, you could find out pretty quickly what's going on this poster. So th that's good. So that, that's sort of speaking to uh, helping people navigate your, your info. <coughs> How about this one? <coughs> Thank you. How about this one? Stare at this for a second. Okay, so first, first question is, effective communication? Raise your hand if you think effective. One, two, okay. And then everybody else says no. Okay, and so people would say yes, why did you guys say yes? Um, I like the color scheme. I felt like it was a little bit more interesting to look at. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, and it seems like it's split up between the wordy portion and then the data portion. Okay. So okay. Is somebody else is, that liked it. Somebody else, tell me why they liked it. Oh my god. Yeah. Or, or somebody that raised their hand that liked it. Let me say that. Okay, so Viviana liked the sort of segment here, segment here, segment here kind of thing. We also like, in, like included like the different images of what they're studying in the blog. I don't know that map should be a bit bigger, but at least they included a map too of where the site was, where they observed. Okay, okay, so, so they have the elements that you like. Uh, who thought it was ineffective or not very particularly effective? Okay. Okay. So, so, so hard, to, hard for Claire to see what the exact takeaway was. Somebody else. I was like half and half because it draws you in pretty good. Um, like the big block of abstract text is a little uh, not effective, and just some of the, there's a lot of like blank space that is cool for design wise, but um, can be used to increase the size of text. Yes. Like in, especially the conclusions, there's a few. Yes. Right. Yeah, so a lot of negative space. And negative space isn't, isn't the worst thing in the world. Having a little bit of negative space is good, but, but this seems to be wasted. Also, again, with that relative importance, this is her date. This is her key data. Well, these, these two figures are her key data, which are really interesting. But you have to, even when I was there, I had to walk up and put my head close to the poster to read them, right? And so, uh, so it would have been nicer if these things were much bigger, um, and uh, yeah, so, so I, I think good stuff, but, but I would just say I think the layout needs a lot of help. So, so the elements are there, but just there needs to be some balancing. I think increasing these things, because um, the figures I think were well done, but they're just, they, they get a bit lost, I think, in, in some of the swoopy, swoopy um, panels stuff. Okay, how about this one? So people like it, raise your hand. So there's about half of us this on this one like it, okay? And then another half of us. So the people that don't like it, tell me why you guys don't like it. The board, you mean the borders like, like yeah, here? Yeah, like the, yeah, like it's like the middle of blue and then the upper part's pink and then the lower part's gray. Like that's kind of going on. Ah, okay. And you can't see, you can't see the writing. It's really busy. I feel like I don't know where to put, point my eyes to. Okay. Okay, okay, so.
so so th 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 this is ca this is real camera trap data from a super muddy bay. So that's why it looks foggy. So th this is these are probably the best pictures she has. <laughs> these are probably like the highest highest resolution photos she has. Um, but okay, okay. But so but but I'm hearing that. Um, the organization is a little bit hard to know where you should be looking. It's a little bit, it's like, is, is this the first thing? Is this the second thing? Is this the third thing? Or like, how does stuff work? Okay, what else? Okay, so this is an example. Uh, so, so one of the thing that might be a little bit uh, adding to some of the confusion is this is an example of something where you have a background picture. So the whole thing is a background picture and they've put a blue box here and a blue box here but these other things there's there's this background context and a lot of times right we're, we're tempted to oh it'd be great to have a background map there and show people where it is or or you know so they get the overall picture uh every once in a while it can work but 99 percent of the time it just leads to people perceiving it as too busy overly busy visually distracting harder to read harder to perceive that kind of stuff um, so, okay, I think this is, I think this is a, a pretty good poster. Um, I would, you're right, I would maybe help the viewer with the layout a bit more, but I think, but I, I, I think it was a, a good, uh, I, I like that poster. How about this one? What the kelp is going on? What the kelp is going on? Yeah, so who thinks, who thinks effective? Raise your hand. One, Diego, Diego, Caleb, like it. Uh, and then everybody else thinks not particularly effective. Okay, Diego, what, why, why do you like it? I just think that it's always like really unique compared to all the other ones. It looks like an infographic. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, right. So instead of introduction, methods, like that kind of stuff, right? They say, why should we care? What the issue is, right? So they're, they're trying to state it in more, uh, more common language, right? Rather than our, our formal um, section headings that we typically use in a, in a poster. Okay. Um, now this, is, this, is, this and maybe a previous one is an example. I'll just note, I, I talked to people that were at, the, at WSM, but I just wanted to reiterate that um, this is this is a, a printed on this is a, a semi gloss or a glossy print. Don't ever do that. Mm -hmm. Just don't do it. Ninety nine percent of the time, don't do it. And so, so it, it was very difficult for me to take a picture of this because every single time the the top where it says kelp and the the, the title and the people's authors' names and stuff, it could, I couldn't see it. I think it was like the fourth or fifth picture I took because because the lights, even though the lights weren't super bright, they were just making it difficult to see and that goes for your eyeball too you have to kind of you know s shift a little side to side step a little forward a little back and so generally speaking you do not want to have any kind of sheen on your posters um, even though they sound great and even though theoretically they make photos are much crisper and much tighter it almost always adds to the the reflection and makes it harder for people to actually read it unless it's lit up like a museum professional lighting type of type of light up. Okay, so what else? Is other other feedback? So people that uh, that didn't like it. Okay, so small, so the fonts could be bigger. So we have we have a lot of negative space here, which is good, but maybe we could have used a little bit of that negative space to to up the fonts a bit, right? So we could squeeze squish things a little bit more, but then have the fonts that much easier to, to hit. What else? Uh, these are, error, I believe these are error bars, yes. Yeah, yeah, or, or TIE Fighters. They're error bars or TIE Fighters, I'm not entirely sure. Sorry, which, which, which one are you talking like about? Like the exam, examination of diver operated at the top. Oh, up here? Oh, this one? Yeah, with the huge gaps. It's like they very easily... Ah, okay. 
Yeah, so, so, that, so, so I would say that's a relatively minor thing, but that is a, a good illustration of, right, when we talk about justifying our, our text, and a lot of times it looks nice because it makes it, right, it makes, a, it makes a, a nice line here and a relatively tight line here, but that can lead to weirdness. So for the visual layout, even though our text that we've crafted and drafted might be really correct and we really like the wording, but then just because of the length of the words sometimes, we put it into bullet form or we put it around our, our um, graph or whatever, it just is, it's like, it, it's just poo-poo, right? It just doesn't work. It's a technical term. Poo-poo is a technical term. And so, so you do need to step back and go, oh my gosh, examination, space, 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 of, space, 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 diver, like that, that just, it, that's, that's just not good, right? And now to be sure, to be clear, they didn't put spaces in there, but the, the um, justification formatting has spread out the text to make it be lined up on the right and left. So that's what's happened there. Okay. Um, okay. How about this one? This is one of our posters. This is, this is a, I just grabbed a couple other examples. So effective communication, raise your hand if you think effective, okay, and if people think it's not particularly effective, okay, so everybody thinks it's effective, what, what, what makes it good? Julia, what, what, what's good about this uh, figure? I actually don't really like it as much. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. So why don't you like it as much? Because I feel like it's like, I don't know, it's like you're reading an L, and then the bubbles don't do any favors for the, it doesn't, like, it highlights it, but like, so by bubbles, you mean, you mean you mean the boxes of sections, yeah. section boxes. Okay. Okay. So who thinks this is effective uh, data communication, effective data visualization? Raise your hand. Oh, it's okay. Raise your hand. I'm, I'm get angry. Clara, Caleb, Alec. Is, is that a hand up? Not a hand up. Okay. The, the, everybody else thinks it's not particularly effective. So okay. So. Um, uh, Somebody who hasn't spoken yet, tell me why it's not particularly effective. Um, because I've been staring at it for like 30 seconds plus and I still can't figure out what okay. the okay. things are. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Good. Good. Ones, so, so that should tell you something. Yeah. That should tell you something. I don't immediately can't tell like what is going on. What's the thesis? What's it? Uh, um, Rihanna. And I also feel like this is way too many visuals. Yeah. There's a crap. There's a lot of visual distraction on here. There's like logo, logo kind of thing, bunch of people's names, logo, logo, people in a mesic mesocosm, da 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 da. Here's some logos, yeah. It does look like two different posters, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it, they're, they're clearly was intent. They didn't just randomly do this, right? So, so they, they clearly intended these, this, uh, beige section to be something and this purple thing to be something but I, I can't really tell what they were trying to make it be so I would say this is not I, I don't think this is this is particularly good I think uh, you know probably made sense in the design phase Ooh, what if we had beige oh that'd be great and then we had periwinkle yeah periwinkle that'd be good but but again once it, right this is why we go through the process and might have some fantastic ideas but when it get when the rubber hits the road you know what, that was a, it would be great if that had worked out, but it just didn't work out. And we have to also have the, have the humility to kind of breathe and go, uh, I thought that would work, but now they see it, no, right? And then kind of go on and keep tweaking. So I'd say that's not a particularly good poster. How about this one? Excellent, I've contaminated you guys so well, you're starting to be viscerally offended by looking at certain things, that's good, okay. All right, good. So, so right. So, so the figures suck, right? I, I mean, I, I don't mean to be, you know, say the data is bad, but 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 the the presentation of the data is far from elegant. This looks like default spit out from Excel, which you should never do. Um, there's there's weirdness here. We have a border around a thing because it spits it out with a border. We have a map in the background, makes it hard to read. The fonts are too small. All this kind of stuff. So, so this, this might, maybe would have been a, a decent very first draft, right? But then we start to edit and tweak and, and tighten up and tighten up and tighten up, but, but, but not, not a great uh, final version. How about this one? I think I need glasses. 
This one's a little bit blurry, but this was, I think I copied this from somebody's submission. I can't remember whose, but but uh, yeah. So 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 the resolution on the PDF I grabbed it from it's it's a little bit blurry, but but just let's look at the overall layout in this case. Maybe we can't can't read it specifically, but what do you, you guys like the layout? I don't know. Uh -huh. I think it's just it was like like not everything. So that's the other that's the other thing to think about, right? Which is as you guys saw, at least those of us that were able to go to WSN, some people great right out front, bright light by the door, by the by the light. Other people just by happenstance, because it's going to happen to somebody, are near a pillar and kind of a little bit darker, right? So, so one of the reasons we have our design principles is to sort of try to minimize the consequences of that, right? So everybody should be able to be fine in a bright light situation, but if it's not ideal bright light, we should you know, make sure that our design is robust enough to be able to bounce back from there. Um, okay, well, maybe you guys are too bothered by the blurriness. This, one, this next one is blurry too, but I just wanna show this. Oh, Ooh. yes, okay. There you go. Enough said. Enough said. Okay. All right. How about this one? I, I don't think these figures are particularly, are, are too small. They, they could have the fonts be bigger. But um, one of the, one of the, uh, one thing that we've, we did a little bit of in our poster, but it's this idea of comparison, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe what they're trying to do in this central section is look at the patterns, the patterns for situation one, pattern situation two, pattern situation three, pattern situation four. You know, are they, are they following the same pattern? Is the red below the, the, the blue, et cetera? Are they touching, et cetera? So, so whether that was effective or not is one thing, but, but just having these figures, uh, uh, this, is, this was a, a relatively large poster, and I think that it, it, uh, it could be okay, but it sounds like you guys would like them to be bigger. One of the things that might help is to have the same things, but have thicker lines, mm -hmm. have thicker, you know, so, so it doesn't disappear so much. And again, if we had the reverse, if this is a dark background with a light line, that line would look thicker, even if it's the same, you know, printed the same thickness, it'll, it'll visually be easier to read. And so some of this is also dark, dark font, dark symbol, on a bright background makes it harder to read. How about this one? Yeah, yeah, this one's poo-poo, this one's poo-poo. How about this one? Okay, I think the visuals here are pretty good. Whether it fit, gets to the part that we talked about, the, what's the thesis, what's the takeaway message, what's the helping the reader to take that part away. I, I don't think that's as great. I, I, I think there, there's been a lot of effort put into these visuals. I think they're, they're, they're fairly effective, but they haven't been stitched together. So this is an example, I think, of the elements might be okay on their own, but we also need to give, give you know, un, unity and, and, and uh, holistic approach to them. Okay, how about this one? So I, I think I agree with Isabel, and I think this is a, a, an effective poster. I think the design should be better, but the data visualization, this is clearly something that, so in this case, they don't have a clear takeaway, right? Or, or at least it's buried. It's a little hard for you to see. But this is really set up for me to talk to you. So they don't know what's going on here. So this, this is from a, a conference right after the Deepwater Horizon. And um, people were trying to figure out what the oil was doing, and nobody knew. Nobody knew. And so the idea is someone can stand in front of here, and, and they don't know. And they, wanted, they want you to help them interpret what the answer is, right? And so they're saying, hey, this is what was going on with the microbes in a, in a reference site. This is what happened before the Deepwater Horizon happened. This is what happened after the Deepwater Horizon happened. So, so... Right, maybe the, the, the graphs could have been bigger, maybe they could have been you know, thicker lines, that kind of stuff, but this is really designed to engage and, and debate people. Well, this is happening, and there's certainly a lot of data here, right? So you can say, ah, did, uh, you know, on site A, did that happen after the spill? And you, can, you, you and, the, and or the author can jump back and forth and like look at this, right? So that's 
So that, that, that is a value of, um, or one of the possible values of these posters. Um, but as you guys said, there needs to be better wrapping around it, right? Better takeaway, better, better help me understand this, you know, like that, that kind of stuff. How about this one? And we're getting near the end here. This is a, a previous capstone student. So I just threw it in here for reference. What do you think? Who thinks effective communication? Raise your hand. Who thinks not effective? Raise your hand. Okay, somebody said, so Alex, what, why, why do you think, why do you like this? Yeah, are there any graphs? Let's see, there's a graph here. Uh, and I think that's the only graph. So this, is, this looks to me like a poster where someone's getting ready to do the study but they haven't really, don't have a lot of data yet. They're saying, this is what we're going to do. Um, okay, how about this one? Another one of our ESRM ones, and then we'll turn to seafood examples. Okay, so, so but, you, but your recommendation would be to, uh, to have a bit less text, so either larger fonts or, yeah. or, or more summary bullet kind of things, okay? Uh, somebody else, uh, Brian? Brandon. Uh, Brandon, oh, I say Brian, jeez. <laughs> Jesus, who the hell's Brian? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I think there's a little too much text, but it also seems really like almost jumbled because there's no borders around any of it. Oh, interesting. Okay. If there's some borders dividing it up. I think it'd be easier to be like, oh, this is this. Because looking at it, you have to kind of like skim through. Okay. Um, so, 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 we want some more visual helpers to, to navigate it. Okay. Yeah, I think it's I think it's effective. It just it leaves a little a little tweaks. The, the the maps seem a little small and there's um, some kind of negative space in there. Okay. Yeah, like 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 there's like some extra white right here, for example, and and maybe some extra two two like maybe we could have made this picture, you know, all the way to this grid kind of thing. Okay. Burns looks like bun. Looks like bun. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have a bum severity. All right, <laughs> excellent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. I so. Mean, it works well on the yep. Yeah. And so, uh, or, you know, we we have to always be concerned with color. First and foremost, there's the color blindness. So maybe some people can't see. If we pick certain colors, maybe they they don't appear to be a different color to some folks. But then there's what Zach was talking about, which is we have some you know inherent assumptions. Generally speaking, in our culture. Red is like bad or danger, right? Green is like good or growing. And, and not that you have to always ascribe to that, but you need to check yourself and say, okay, I chose these colors. Is that, is that really the best way given my topic, given the whatever? Um, and if you want to choose that, go for it. But, but just don't, but always double check. Always take a pause and go back and, okay, this is my color palette. Is this correct? Okay, so we're going to end with just looking at a few examples of posters. Again, we can critique all these, um, even though my name might be on some of these, that, that's fine. Um, and th these are all uh, uh, our previous students' posters, so from, from different years and different times. So, so you guys have, have you know, spent a good chunk of the quarter talking about, or, you know, thinking about uh, coastal data. And now we're currently working on the seafood data collection effort. So let's see, and, and you presented some of that data already from our opinion polls. So here's an example from 2013. What do you think about that poster? So this is a previous WSN. I like the tables. You like the tables, okay. Yeah, it fills in where there isn't a lot of graphs. What else? Who, th who thinks effective, effective presentation? One. Who thinks not effective? Oh my God, you whips, you have to vote. So let's say, so who thinks effective? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four. Who th and, and then everybody else thinks no. I think okay. a lot of us are in between, which is why we're not. Yeah, no, no, you have to vote. So, okay, so people that said effective, tell me why. Thank you. 
<laughs> it's right in the middle and it's boom. It's good. So you're saying saying this the centralized thing? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so so you guys, so you're saying you like the organization. So I'm hearing I like the organization. So somebody else that liked it, what was something they liked about it? I got at least four people voted yes. So somebody else, tell me why they liked it. Okay, so organization. So so so, so, so it seems organized, right? Okay, people that didn't like it, tell me what you didn't like about it. Like right here? Oh yeah, also it uses a pie chart, which is, which is fail. Fail, 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 fail. Yes, but I gave the students free reign and I gave them feedback. This is what they produced. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Other, other thoughts? Okay, how about this one? Okay, so first, effective or not effective? Effective, raise your hand. Not effective, raise your hand. So I'm assuming says nobody raised their hand for effective, everything. Okay, so, so, so tell me what you guys don't like about this. Okay, so, so you want a clear takeaway. Interesting. It's, 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 it is interesting how some years everybody loves the curvy boxes, other years they think they're the worst thing ever. It's, 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 they're teams, teams, I can't figure out why, it's just sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why, why people do or don't like these, the aesthetics of the, of the uh, framing tools. But okay, but, but, but data-wise, what do you guys think about the data? It's there. It's there. It's there. <laughs> it's there. Rousing endorsement. So you're saying you think it's too, do you think overall the the text is a little difficult to read and you would like things to be bigger, yeah. and I'm also hearing you guys like a clear takeaway. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Okay, I think this is I think this is a, a pretty solid poster. So I think you guys you guys are saying hey we want the fonts to be bigger, uh, that maybe if we didn't have these boxes that would help a little bit. You're, you're arguing and maybe a clear takeaway, but. Okay, okay, good, okay. How about this one? Yeah, it doesn't matter who wrote it. <laughs> too much text, okay. What else? You, br br uh, you want a different organization? Is that what I'm hearing? Okay, so th so now you guys say you would you would like a box around these things maybe. Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Almost done. How about this one? This is our last one. So the question, effective, uh, effective communication tool, raise your hand. One, two people. Wait, Isabel, is that, real, is that a real hand raise? Okay, so four people have their hand raised, and then everybody else thinks it's not particularly effective. Okay, people that think it's effective, what do you guys like about it? I think it's pretty balanced between the text, you know, like graphing Okay. Uh, Isabel. Um, I actually am super happy now, but I think the other one was much better. You, you think um, this one was better? Much better. Okay. Yeah. 
Right. So this is really the, the main nut of the poster. And this is essentially a reference thing to talk when people are standing around and they want to ask a question about something. So, so Isabel's thrown off because she's like, why is the conclusion here, right? She's, she's thinking the conclusion should be kind of, she's expecting it to be somewhere over here. Okay, good. What else? Max, what do you think about this thing? Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, so those are some examples of seafood. And then here's another example. Ah. So, too much text? So, so now we've seen all those. What do you guys think about this? Effective, not effective? Who thinks effective? Right. So, what makes this one effective? Uh, visually, I think that makes sense. But I think from the flow, it was what's going on. This might be an explanation. And then, uh, but, but, but I hear you just like glancing at it from afar. I can see how, yeah, you say, hey, the, the, this sort of broken up in a weird way. Uh, but yeah, I think it was. I think it was spacing wise. I think. Other other thoughts about this? Now that we've been looking at these other ones. So again, everybody's thing can get better. Like my things can get better. Your things can get better. And at some point, we just need to pull the trigger, and it's time for the time for the presentation, right? So we can't do it forever, but. It's really helpful to go back to your stuff, right? Let's go back and look at this. Okay, yeah, at the time, you're stressed out. Oh my God, you're drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm giving you feedback. Then I say something. You're like, yeah, that's a good idea, Dr. A. And then you're like, no, that's a good idea, Dr. A, right? But then like, you're thinking about like, wait, was he right? Right? So, so having that space is really helpful to go back and look at these things. Um, okay, cool. So, so good. Other, other concluding thoughts or, or notions about about how to visualize seafood data and that kind of good stuff. So can you guys think back about the best presentation you saw this semester? It could have been at the Virtual Islands uh, Summit. It could be at WSN. It could be wherever. So think back to whatever you think was the most effective presentation. Could be a poster, could be a talk, could be a panel. And think about for a second, what made that, why was that so, so good, right? In some cases, just a super cool, interesting topic, and that's cool. You can't really help that. I'm talking about what was an effective, really professional presentation that, that, that helped your understanding of something beyond the gee whiz and beyond the, the whiz bang. And then I went, and then, and then what was the, what, I, want, I want to go around and ask you guys what the key what was the, the most important thing that made it such a good, uh, good presentation? Okay. So how about this? How about, why don't we take a quick five minute uh, break and you guys think about that and we come back and ask you guys uh, to tell me about that. So a quick five minute break. 